Cool. It looks like we're live. Okay. So welcome everybody to another Beat Stars Academy live session. Um, this time I have an incredible producer and, and a Beat Stars team member, uh, Levi Beats. I'm going to let you introduce yourself in a second, but but one thing that I want to do is I really just kind of want to set the stage and really shape up what this, this conversation is about to be. Um, so really quick, for those who are tuned in, for those who are part of just kind of like the, the Beat Stars community, you have probably seen and are going to see that we have a lot of releases and integrations and new features that are kind of coming down the pipeline for the next few months. And so one of those that I think is really, really special is um, this new integration. We've already had the partnership, but now it's just an extra level, um, a next level up for the partnership with um, this mobile recording app called Beloco. And what I really love about this is that it benefits both the producers and the artists. Um, and so I think this is extremely groundbreaking just from an integration perspective, what we've been able to do. So um, I'm excited to talk about this because I don't think there's really anybody better to explain what this is than you, <laughs> Levi, because you worked on the product itself and you're a producer who's using it. So, man, yeah. I'm excited. I appreciate you you being here, man. Um, I'm going to give you the floor to, to introduce yourself. Yeah. So most Folks probably know me already. Um, I've been around for a while now. Uh, so yeah, obviously go by the name of Levi Beats, but my actual name is Lee. Uh, I'm a producer in the community, but also I am a product owner at Beatstars as well. So some of the features that you guys um, utilize on the platform, I've had some hands in and some involvement in. So yeah, excited to be here today to talk about Veloco with you, Ogden. Um, I know we've had a lot of conversations about Ogden and sorry about Veloco so I'm super excited <laughs> to, uh, yeah to talk about it with everyone and th and then yeah answer any questions that folks might have around the implementation and how they can benefit from it let's do it let's do it okay so I want to start a little bit at the beginning if you will um I'm sure our community saw late last year maybe early this year that okay we had this partnership with Veloco so you were you were around that was like a little bit before my time but you were around when that partnership kind of started can you kind of just quickly talk about what that partnership was and then kind of what it scaled into honestly within under a year yeah so the discussions with Veloco obviously went on over over a long period of time and, and i got involved in the project i think it was back in december when we were looking at like the phase phased rollout of how this is going to how what this is going to look like in the end so um some of you uh, may remember that phase one um, was rolled out i think it was around about february march time um and that was uh where we introduced the record button into the uh, into the beat stars marketplace app on the mobile app that would um present that would be presented on any free beats that free beats that producers were having on their profile and then when artists were um, interacting with that record button, it would open up the Veloca app. It would take the beat with them into the Veloca app. And then they could start doing some, you know, some scratch vocals or start thinking about that beat and what they want to do with it. So they can start recording vocals on it and all that kind of stuff, which is super cool. And then in phase two, we did a little bit for the artist where um, if the user had a BeatStars account and they had purchases, um, and they connected their account with Veloco, all of their purchased licenses would appear in Veloco so they could use those beats as well to start recording over and, and do whatever they want to do with it. And then phase three, which was something that was launched very recent over the last few weeks, um, is now um, all uh, paying BeatStars producers on the platform. So anyone that has a professional plan, growth plan or startup plan now has all of their beats, their free download beats appearing in the Veloco application that is readily, readily available for the whole of the Veloco community, which to me is just absolutely crazy. It's so cool um, to see that all of those beats that you have um, on your marketplace profile that are set up for free are now appearing in Veloco. So you've got this whole brand new audience that you can tap into that you never had 
um, any access to before, which is super cool. I know some producers in the community were um, already uploading beats directly into the Veloco app, you know, manually themselves. So obviously now we're saving them a lot of time because they don't need to do that anymore. They get their own profile over there, which they can claim as well. And then along with that, they get all of the data, which they can see like who's interacting with those beats, if anyone's creating recordings on them. Um, and one of my favorite features about phase three is we have that buy link. So anyone, any artist that is, is interested in making a purchase or using that uh, beat formally, they can be redirected straight back to the marketplace to buy a license for that beat, which is super cool. And I think we discussed this previously, Ogden, um, but how I envision it is kind of like we have like a lot of producers use YouTube. They utilize YouTube for like a source of traffic. And I see like Veloco as another YouTube, but just directed specifically for a specific niche audience, which is artists. And the producer doesn't have to do anything like he doesn't yeah. have to spend yeah. that time. he doesn't have to spend that time uploading creating you know creating another profile and all that kind of stuff so yeah for me it's just i was super excited to get be a part of this project because i thought um i saw you know real real good value in it how it's going to help the producer and you know if i'm being selfish around it as well like from my perspective i've seen some really good results from it already so i'm just super excited to see how you know all of the other producers in the community they're going to benefit from this too so yeah you know what okay so a couple of i, I want to start there because there's a couple of things that i want to unpack from that sure. i want to start with the the youtube concept because i feel yeah. like that is something that is interesting because the way that i look at it is YouTube, when you're uploading to YouTube, that's kind of like your way of getting cold leads, right? It's like, hey, look, I'm posting this beat up on YouTube. I have an idea of who might be listening to it, but yeah. I don't know. I might get some random traffic of people who may never buy my stuff. I'm getting maybe just some people who stumbled across it on accident. So I think of YouTube uploading as cold lead sourcing, if you will. But with Voloco, I look at that as, oh, these are my warm leads because now yeah. you have artists who are looking at this platform and they're kind of already primed and ready to buy. Now all you have to do is just come across it, or now all they have to do is come across you, right, as a producer. Do you feel like that's an accurate kind of metaphor, if you will? Yeah, I feel like that is. And something else just to add, you know, um, I actually stopped using YouTube because I felt like um, it wasn't really working for me. It's not to say that it doesn't work for folk because it does. It's still a good source of traffic for a lot of producers. But for me, it takes a lot of work. And, and when I say a lot of work, like you've you've got to build that audience, you know, mm -hmm. whereas with Loco, the audience, the audience already exists. Like the app has been downloaded like over 70 million times or something for Loco's told us. So. I mean, obviously, I know there's a lot of people utilizing YouTube, but YouTube is like a platform that caters to multiple different types of audiences, right? They're not specific to like the music creator necessarily, right? Um, so that's where I think the main difference is. It's not to say that YouTube still isn't a viable um, uh, source of traffic for producers. I'm sure it still will be, you know, but I feel like at least for like the newer kind of producers, like if I was to go and start create a brand new YouTube channel right now, it would take me a long time to build up that community. I would have to be consistent. I would have to be uploading stuff all the time. I need to figure out what the SEO is. Like there's a lot of like test, you know, kind of like testing going on. Whereas we're like for Loco, you've already got the audience there. There's the audience is niche because it's artists that are coming to look for beats to like, whether it's for a hobby or whether it's actually to make a career out of like, you've got those folks in there already. Right. And then there's also because it's in a, in a, in an app form and you, and you're getting recordings on those beats, you're getting to see what people are doing with those tracks as well. It's like, whereas YouTube, it's kind of, you don't get that information from YouTube. It's like, okay. You can have like a buyback link. You can send it back to your marketplace. Right. But, um, you're not getting that yeah like i, I don't know i don't know yeah, how, how yeah, to yeah. it, you know what i mean it's kind of mm -hmm. like that's how i that's how i view it in my from my perspective as a producer yeah you know I mean? yeah 
because really i think that like that's the thing that um i think is probably the most interesting because even the other day right like you sent me uh, you sent me a beat that you uh that you had just uploaded yeah and like i mean i would, listen for those who are out there i used to you know i used to dabble in in um in lyricism back in the day but uh levi sent me a beat and i was just like yo this is fire so i just opened up Voloco like in the immediate recorded to it really quickly and then like i don't know five minutes later maybe less than you were able to go into studio and see not only that i had recorded to it but then now you have my email and yep. you can just reach out to me like like i think like there is this this extra level of relationship building that this integration gives you that i feel like you just don't have with anything else at least something things that like i've never seen like just the amount of just accessibility to a, a potential customer and a potential relationship is like it's huge man yeah well i mean we could even take it back to the to the live stream that you did with lucy right where she mentions one of the key things if there was like one thing that she would give people advice if they were just starting out now is like building those relationships i think mm -hmm. those are really key and i've actually found like from my perspective as a producer you know when I've gone the extra mile to build those relationships with those people that are taking the time to stream my beats, listen to them, record over them, buy a license, right? If you if you spend that bit more time with them, uh, you know, getting to know them, building those relationships with them, um, it can it's only going to help you in the long run, like building those long lasting relationships, and you never know what's going to come out of them, right? And what's cool about the reason why I'm bringing this up because it may sound weird me talking about that is because with the Voloco implementation people got direct access to those beats you can start communicating with them straight away as soon as they start interacting with your you know your products on, right. on the platform so you're getting a ton of those new people that are being surfaced for you that you can start building those relationship relationships with um which i think is super is is so cool um yeah i i mean i wish i could show some of the data that i've seen already but i know for like data privacy purposes we can't really show it but if i was to show like the list of new potential clients that i've generated from from this latest integration i've got like maybe well over 50 new potential clients you know just in the last wow. couple of weeks just having wow. my beats being presented in Voloco. so that's like you say, like you said, if you go back to it, it's like warm leads. You've already got people that are showing interest in your products already, which is really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. So, OK, well, and one thing to 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 clarify, right. In order to have your beats on Voloco, they have to be free downloads. They have yeah. to be already listed as free downloads on yeah. BeatStars already. Any other stipulations or any other kind of check marks as far as making sure that your beats are on BeatStars and in Voloco outside of making sure that they're listed for free download? No, so it's just free download. Obviously, you need to be a paid subscriber, so either a starter, growth, or professional subscriber. This feature is not available for free users or free sellers. Um, so that's really only the main thing. I know some producers don't always like having their downloads you know free downloads enabled but i think this is a good excuse to make sure that you have them enabled because you've now got an additional benefit it's not just hey you know like artists can now download the beats for free on on the marketplace app the record button is now being presented for Voloco, and you've got your beats appearing in the Voloco app as well um there are some things that you can do like if you decide that you don't want to have your beats appearing in Voloco, you can just choose to disable content sharing globally, which just means that you can still have your free downloads available in the marketplace app when your beats won't appear in Voloco. I don't know why anyone would do that, but you know, some people may want to do that. And then also as well, you can um, in your kind of like bulk editing settings on your track listing um, section, you can manually uh, or in bulk uh, one by one or in bulk so you can choose to enable or disable like uh Voloco per track so you can choose say hey hey i only want to have these tracks in Voloco. these are ones that are, seems to be performing the best you can choose if you want to keep those in there and then remove some of your other tracks so there is a lot of flexibility of how you can 
have your tracks appearing in Voloco. My personal suggestion would just be have everything appear in Voloco <laughs> um, because the more stuff you have there, the more chances you're going to have. Um, you're giving yourself more opportunities. And I feel like um, you should always be open to um, making sure that you're tapping into every available opportunity that is available to you, you know, and the best way to do that is make sure you're tapping into the, those types of features and products that are available. Does yeah. That make sense? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what, man? Okay, so this brings up two thoughts. I'm going to start with the first. I'll get to the second one in a minute. Um, yeah. You know, when I was, when Abe told me about what this was, this was a couple months ago, and he was saying, hey, this is coming down the pipeline. He brought up a really, really great point that I had even forgotten about when I was an artist. So for everybody out there, you guys know, right? Abe, the CEO of BeatStars, he's also an artist himself. The best part about this Voloco integration is that for artists, this now breaks down a barrier that you probably don't even know that you have, or you know that you have, but like, don't know how to necessarily get around it, right? Because yeah. whenever you find, like, let's say you find a beat on BeatStars and like immediately you want to record to it and immediately you have these ideas, the recording process is so disjointed because it's like, okay, I found the beat. Okay, well now I need to go to my voice notes app and then I don't have the beat. So I'm just going to try to hum the melody or hum the lyrics. And then, okay, well now I'm gonna, I need to write the lyrics and now I gotta go to a separate app in my notes app and try to write all my lyrics there. It's just so disjointed. And what I yeah. love about Voloco is, is like, it puts everything into one and now you have all this endless access to beats. And it's like, to me, it just makes the recording process so streamlined. And one thing that I, we, we have a blog that's up um, about producers essentially trying to encourage artists to record on mobile. And so I'm curious for you and like in your perspective, how do you now see this, I guess, integration helping not just the producer, but also the artist as well? I mean, I know I gave a little bit of an anecdote, but I would love to know from like the producer lens, how you may communicate that to potential collaborators. Yeah, you bring up a good point, because so far I've just, you know, demonstrate how it benefits the producer. But if you if you put your, you know, artist hat on, um, and I think th this was something that um, we was discussing with Abe too, like a lot of music um, discovery these days happens on the go, right? A lot of people are like on their apps, listening to, you know, listening to music, listening to beats or whatever. I know I do it when I'm traveling in the car. I've got I've got the BeatStars app open and I'm just streaming beats, right? Um, so yeah, there's a lot of discovery that's happening. And when that kind of like that one just clicks, you know, for an artist, like oh it's just triggered i i want to you know i have some ideas for this now with this integration they're on the bus they're in the taxi wherever they are you know they could be in the street they could be walking down the street it could be out for a walk out for a run whatever listening to this music and they get inspired to write something now they've got instant access i think probably and i've spoken to a lot of artists about this and we have a couple that work internally on beat stars as well and understanding how they you know, go through the process of writing their music, right? And a lot of people are just using their voice notes on their phone, right? Mm -hmm. So they're just recording something. But then when they go back to it later on, it probably doesn't mean anything to them because it's not attached to a beat, right? But now with this mobile door that they've got access to because the beats are already living in there, they get inspired by that they can start writing immediately straight away. And when they go back to that beat and they listen to it, they're like, oh, and they've listened to the voice recording that they've done. It, I guess for me, at least, if I'm listening to that, I'm going to feel inspired again or more inspired listening to the beat with the vocal rather than just listening to the vocal on its own because it makes more sense to me with the beat, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like from, from the artist's perspective as well, not only have they just got a ton of access to millions and millions of beat stars beats and we know like the beat stars beats are like some of the best in the world right um so yeah i mean they've got they've got all that access to all those beats now um and yeah they can record on the go which is 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 so cool so cool. well and you know you know what and on top of that too like i feel like now having this integration if i'm in a producer seat like i'm using this 
opportunity to now reach out to the customers of old and being like, hey, guys, like if you are recording on like if you guys want to record and want to record quickly, here's here's an opportunity for you. Right. Or here's an yeah. option for you. Like now I'm using this as maybe an extra marketing ploy too, right? Like I can now as a producer, just maybe send an email, send a text out to just past customers and be like, Hey guys, just FYI, I have a cool resource for you. If you want to record on the go, use Veloco, you know, you guys can record immediately, all that stuff too, right? Like it just, it gives such a robust opportunity for yeah. like everybody involved. And as you can see, I'm super geeked about it because <laughs> Like the light bulb has just been clicking for me over the last like couple months as we talk more and more about it, um, yeah. which I love. And the, the thing that I think is, is really dope, too, is that what we're talking about is not a far fetched thing. Like it's not a far fetched yeah. idea. Like there are use case successful people like successful records that we've heard that have started off and that were recorded only on mobile apps. Like that is what I think is really, really dope. Um, but I didn't I didn't want to take the, the thunder away from that. But I mean, we saw like Soak City, right, like spit in my face, like both of those recorded on mobile, like mobile DAWs. That is the future. And yeah. I don't want to pat ourselves on the back too much. But I just think it's really, really cool how every iteration of music creation, we're always on that forefront. Right. It's like people weren't buying beats online at one point now they are or they didn't want to admit that they were buying beats online they didn't think it was cool but we were there we were at the forefront of that yeah. and now people are like well you know mobile recording not sure about it well we're on the forefront of that man it's just like i just i love what it is that that we're doing there so there wasn't really a, a question there necessarily it was just more of like a shining beat stars like i don't know shining beat stars highlights is, is crosses many platforms and in different ways that i can uh, no, and uh, you know, if I'm if I'm being totally honest, Ogden, like, um, when I heard about this for local integration, I had to go and test it out myself because I'm thinking I, I'm a bit of a tech nerd as well, right? So when it comes to like, you know, I engineer all of my own music and beats and stuff, right? And I'm pretty critical about that a lot of the times, and. Um, when I was kind of like testing out the Veloco app itself and, and, you know, just my, I'm no singer, I'm no singer. Right. So I was just like, I was taking my beats into the Veloco app and I was just recording over them and bearing in mind, I was just doing it like on a, you know, on my open phone. I had no headphones in or nothing like that. And I was really surprised with the quality that came out of it. Mm -hmm. Even if it was just a reference or scratch or something like that, that I could then take to a studio and improve. Um, cause there will be some artists that would want to go that next step. Right. But you, you brought up a great point. There's been a couple of hits recently that were just solely recorded on the phone, which is, you wouldn't have thought that would even be possible five years ago, maybe even just, you know, a couple of years ago, you wouldn't have thought that that would be possible because technology has just moved forward so quickly. And yeah, you bring up, you bring up another great point. Like beat stars is trying to be at the forefront of that partnering with people that also have the same mindset that they want to provide this value to the community and, and making sure that they're given access and easy access to um, have quick creativity and inspiration and just encourage that. And I think that's what's super core cool about this partnership with Aloco. Um, and yeah, this is just the beginning as well. Like obviously this year we've had these three phases, you know, who knows what's around the corner, you know? Yeah. So, which I'm I'm really excited about because I'm sure we're going to come up with some crazy ideas and some crazy ventures that's just going to add more value to the community and just yeah, bring new technology um, and just help help you know in, that inspiration more. Um, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I have one and a half questions left, so. <laughs> For everybody who's tuning in, feel free um, drop any questions that you have in um, in the chat. Uh, we will we'll make sure to answer those for you guys. Um, we'll be able to see those on our end. So yeah, feel free to to drop questions there. Um, Levi, I'm I'm a, I'm really really curious for you. You know, now that we have this partnership created and we talked about kind of what it means and what it, you know what what it could be i'm curious just also for you um what are maybe kind of some 
gaps or maybe things that are kind of things that could be filled moving down the line that BeatStars is doing? We talk about mobile recording. We got some other stuff coming down the line. What are some other things that you're saying that maybe are trends that we could be moving moving toward or that you're excited that we're moving toward? Anything like that? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, obviously, there's there's a lot of projects that we've been working on recently. Um, I think, for, for me at least, it's like trying to uh, improve the discovery of music. And I think we've definitely started with like the Voloco integration. I feel like that's a good a good place to start because I think if we can help artists discover the music you know, faster, quicker, feel more inspired. I think that's key um, because everyone's attention span these days is very short. You know, like we know that just based on social media behaviors, like reels, you know, things just people are consuming content so quickly. So I think helping artists um, discover music faster is definitely key. And I think producers are a big part of that. Um, I feel like that's something that should we should be focusing on it. And yeah, like I said, Voloco is definitely, I feel like a step forwards in that part. Um, because yeah, just now there's like 4 million beats sitting in Voloco that people can discover really easy, right? So um, yeah, I, I, I just think really staying at the forefront of technologies and making sure that we are, you know, just providing a ton of value to our community and just, yeah, just, I've, I've always said, um, you know, inspiring collaboration i feel like that's always been beat star story to an extent we just want producers and artists to come together just make crazy dope music um yeah and, and share it with the world so that's anything that we can do to encourage that and, and increase that i feel that is a good thing what do you say to the person who is on the fence though about Voloco, right who's like ah i'm not sold yet right like what do you what do you tell that person I'd I'd say you're you know being candid. I'd say you're silly for not trying it. Like yes. you have to try it. You have to try it. It's like it's kind of a bit like AI. Like everyone's a bit scared of that, and I get it because I'm scared of it to a certain extent too, right? Because you feel like it might take over your job. Um, but honestly, I do believe it's like you have to try these things out and see see them for, for yourself to see. The benefit for, for some people it might not work for them because their business model is different or something or other but at least, I, I mean i know i mean i'm not i'm not saying it's just because i'm i'm biased and i work for beat stars but i've already seen the value in using it myself so like i said selfishly i'm super excited that this partnership exists because i can see the potential value it has if used correctly and if you use it in the right manner you know um so yeah, I mean, if there is anyone sitting on the fence, the first thing I would say is, look, just try. You're not going to know until you try if it's going to benefit you or not. And I think you'd be pleasantly surprised the value that you see from it, at least from my perspective. And again, that's speaking level-headed and without any bias. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, let me see. Okay, I am going through. I don't see any glaring questions. Um, so I think we're we're kind of close to to time. So one thing, really, Levi Beats, if you want to leave us with anything, I know we've talked a lot and talked about yeah. a lot of things. Um, anything that's on your mind, anything that you think about, hey, this is coming up, or advice, whatever it is, um, this is your this is your chance to to leave us with it. No, I think. Um... I know because I know I, I watched the last live stream and, and Lucy gave some good stuff. But I think I think for me, um, at, it, it, as as a producer, I try I try to take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way as a producer. And like I said just earlier, you know, like try it. If it doesn't work for you, you you'll you'll soon know. But yeah, just taking advantage of every opportunity that comes your way and just making sure that you utilize it to the best of your ability right and um i really do feel like you know like like you said some people sit on the fence with some of these features and products but yeah just try it try it use it utilize it and see what it does for you and 
yeah there's no harm in trying right um yeah i don't i don't think i have anything else really to say um apart from that just taking making sure you just yeah grab grab epi every opportunity that comes available to you just make sure you do that and i think you'll find the things that work for you there you go there you go levi beats that's all we got man thank you so much for your time man um we'll be we'll probably do another one of these i uh, hear pretty soon but appreciate yeah. you man thank you so much yeah just quickly before i go just yeah. you know say to the community if if there anyone's watching this that does have any questions around the loco or they have any suggestions for improvements or something some stuff that they've seen already they think oh this could work really well feel free to hit me up i'm always open for those conversations happy to talk chop it up with anyone that has any questions or or if anyone is sitting on the fence and could do with some inspiration to be encouraged to use it then my door's open so feel free to hit me up there you go there you go all right appreciate you man till the next time thanks Ogden. take care right. peeps